Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And in this video, we're going to discuss the relationship between light and nutrients because there seems to be a lot of confusion about how much weight you should be getting. Anyway, I think the best place to start is to first define the problem as it comes in my store and calls my helpline, and then we can go over some examples. Okay, the number one question you guys usually ask is, how many nutrients should I be feeding with? And I just want you to understand that I can't answer that question without knowing how much light you have and how big your plants are. Okay, before we go on, I want to clear up a few things about yield and about why I'm always telling you yields based on light and not nutrients. But before your head explodes, I want to be just as clear. Nutrients are necessary. You cannot grow plants without them. After all, what are the two things every garden has in common? That's right lights and nutrients. So before you start posting in the comments section of this video, keep watching because we're going to examine the role each place and see if there isn't something we can learn. First, let's talk light because the light is really what sets the pace for your rotation and therefore your yield. And as long as we're talking light, can we agree that plants are photosynthesizers, and that using light for energy, they convert water and CO2 into sugar and oxygen. And I want to be clear on this. There are zero nutrients in the photosynthesis equation. And while nutrients are important, I just want to be clear that they do not participate in the process of converting light into sugar. Okay, so marijuana plants are photosynthesizers just like every plant. So, what about the nutrients, the other thing in every garden? Well, just like humans, animals, and reptiles, plants use salt to create osmotic pressure in their vascular structure, and that pressure is how she transports enzymes and hormones and catalysts and the sugar she made through photosynthesis all around her plant body. For instance, during the day, when she's actively photosynthesizing and her stomas are open, she's combining water that she absorbs from the roots with CO2 that she absorbs from the leaf. And she combines them through a series of chemical reactions into sugar. And as a metabolic waste product of that process, she also sweats or transpires water from her leaves in the form of hydrogen and oxygen. And she emits a gas, oxygen. Then at night, she again uses the osmotic pressure to help her transport the sugar she made during the day down to the roots where she stores them as starch. And I think I've made my point, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe more nutrients does increase yield. So let's examine that because every nutrient rep that comes in my store swears their shit's going to blow your shit up 40% or more and they got the scientific testing to prove it. Please. But still, let's think about that. Nutrients are important. The plant does need them to transport stuff around and build cellular structures. I'm just thinking, does twice help her do it twice that fast? Now, we all know silica builds cell walls, right? All I'm asking is, is if one teaspoon of silica per watering is what she wants, will feeding her two teaspoons of silica per watering cause her to grow at twice the rate? Continuing that thought, would four teaspoons then cause the plant to grow four times faster? Because if that's true, then we should be able to pour the whole bottle in there and take over the world. Personally, I don't think doubling your nutrients is going to double your yield. This is a plant, and it's only going to grow as fast as a plant can grow. And I'd like to add the fact that the guys that grow with 600 watt lights, they always say they cut the manufactured recommended dose by half because they have half the light. Now, if you agree with my logic so far, I think you'll agree with the statement. The correct amount of nutrients is the correct amount of nutrients. And anything more or less than that amount will only negatively affect final yield and harvest. So you can sort of see this really isn't about the nutrients, which means the correct amount of nutrients is the lowest you can feed her and still get that yield. And I already know what your next argument is, that maybe, just maybe, there is one nutrient out there that really is 
gonna get you 40% more yield and blow your shit up. But if there were, don't you think every farmer would already know about it and that they would already be using it? Okay, one more argument and then I think we're good on this whole lights versus nutrient thing. If it really was about the nutrients, why do marijuana grow facilities and cultivation centers buy and install those pesky lights, the hottest, most expensive, electricity-consuming thing they could invest their money on, right? Why don't they just use more nutrients? Then they wouldn't even need to run their air conditioners anymore. Boom! Look at all the money they would save. Seriously, nutrients are just salt, and too much salt will kill anything, which is why she gets those yellow tips when you overfeed. And since she only absorbs the nutrients she wants, what actually happens when you overfeed is that the salt buildup in the media reverses the flow of the water inside the plant. And now, instead of water traveling from the roots up and out through the leaves, because of the salt buildup, she dehydrates and you suck the water from the leaves down and out through the roots, which is why her leaves turn yellow. It's not because there's too many nutrients moving into the plant, it's because you're dehydrating her from all that salt. Okay, I'm the Grow Boss, I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any other questions, remember, there are three more short videos like this one and one long video that explains everything you need to know about light, yield, and rotations. Thanks for watching. And remember, growing can be tough, so call me before you quit.